This is Leah with Backyard Homestead in Starkville, Mississippi, Zone 7B. And today we are getting ready to plant some of our potatoes. And these are seed potatoes we bought from the co-op. And we have been letting them sprout. And then we cut them into pieces and are let, have been letting them harden off for about three weeks now. It's been too wet to plant. So we've just been letting the potatoes sit and cure. And now we're getting ready to plant a row. Most of the garden's still too wet, but we have one area that is um, a little bit more raised than another area. And we're going to go ahead and plant one area. So they'll be planted in stages. We only have one area we think we can plant today. But we are about to get that row prepared. And then we are going to plant our potatoes. This row, or this table, is white Kennebec potatoes. And the rest of the potatoes down here are our red Lesotos. And we're not going to do the red Lesotos today. We are just going to plant the white Kennebec, and that's Mr. D. So that's it. We're going to go get the row prepared. I'll show you the row that we're going to plant and tell you what we're going to do in just a second. Okay, this is the row we're going to plant today, and this is an area. This whole little area through here is um, when we rake the leaves or when we mow the leaves and chop them, mulch the leaves. We push them over, blow them over into this area or dump the bags, and then they've just sat here and rotted down and then we raked them up into a pile and added a little compost and other things to it and we planted mustard greens here earlier but they I think it got too wet for them or the temperature never got right and they never came up so we're gonna fluff this soil and oop, there's one good dirt so we're just gonna fluff this and then we're gonna add um, blood meal bone meal and some black cow and we're gonna plant our white Kennebec potatoes so gonna fluff this row. I'll come back when you show you when we, for the next step. Okay, now after we went through with the fork and fluffed it, Al's cutting a trench. Isn't that some pretty black dirt? Al's gonna cut a trench all the way down the middle. Then we're gonna put our amendments and then add the taters. So, back <laughs> taters. Kitty back potatoes. Back in a minute. All right, to this beautiful trench we are going to add blood meal, bone meal, and some Epsom salt. And then we're gonna, we're gonna lay that down in the trench, and then we're gonna go back over that with a thin layer of black cow, the composted cow manure. Then we're gonna put the potatoes on that, and then we'll cover the ditch back up. So, now it's gonna put down some Epsom salt. Then we're going to go back on top of that with blood meal and bone meal. So we are, have put in the Epsom salt, blood meal, bone meal, and now we're going to go back and put down a layer of black cow on top of that. Okay. Now, going back and adding some composted cow manure, some of the black cow, and then we're going to come back on top of this and just nestle those seed potatoes right down in on top of this, and then cover them up. Our dirt! is almost as black as the, the black cow. Pretty nice. All right, I'm gonna go get the potatoes. Okay, we loaded up the potatoes off the table and we are going to put them eyes up about, about a foot apart. Yep, just go down the road doing that and then cover them up. That's it. We're going to go all the way down the row and come back and show you the row when we're done. But that's about it. Thanks. Alright, that's it. That's one row of white Kennebecs planted. And when they start to sprout and come up, I'll come back and show you what they look like. Figured they're down in this trench, so when they start to come up, 
as we need to heal, we can pull this loose dirt beside them up over it. And then if they need <clears throat> something put on them beyond that, we can start pulling this these leaves on either side over them. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching.